Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I want to show you my bikini collection and not only show you what bikinis I have because I do have quite a lot of them. I also want to declutter some of them and give them away to you. And before anyone screams, why do you give away bikinis that you've already worn? Don't worry, I wouldn't give those ones away. But if you have been following me on my YouTube channel for a little while, a few months already, then you might know that I have done a few collaborations with Cupshe and with Popville. And they sent me tons and tons of bikinis to try on. And a few of them I have tried on and left the hygiene sticker inside and some of them even have the tags and everything so I literally just put them on for the video and then took them back off and never had them on ever again afterwards so it's literally like you go to a shop someone before you tries on the bikini doesn't like it puts it back on a hanger so they are pretty much brand new I only wore them for the video the hygiene stickers in I will disinfect them as well before I send them off but the aim of this video today is I want to go through my bikini collection with you together, show you all of the bikinis I have, show you my favorite ones, and then also the ones I don't want to have anymore. Not because they're not pretty, like honestly, all of them are so beautiful, but which person can wear that many bikinis? It's just way too much for just a single person to wear. And I kind of want to give back to you. But everything about the giveaway will be at the end of the video, so hold tight. And now we're gonna go through my collection, I would say. I won't have a particular order of how I go through them. I just pick them out as I go. And let's start off with probably one of my favorite bikinis, which, I mean, it still has the tags on it. Um, I just didn't really have the chance to wear them yet. But these are from Cupshe. If you want to see them on, I won't try them on in this video, but I have done, as I said, two Cupshe videos and a Popville video where I tried literally, I think, 80% of the bikinis I've tried on in those two videos. So I will link them below if you want to see them. But this one is from Cupshe, as I said, and I think this one is one of my favorite bikinis. I think it's really flattering. At the top, it has the tie on the front, which looks really cute, and in general, it just makes me feel really comfortable, it's really fun and flattering at the same time, so this one is definitely a keeper. Then we have this one here, which is from Popville, and at the time I picked it, I was really in love with it, I thought it's a really really cute bikini, but then I've put it on and it just didn't feel 100% right, it did feel good on, it does look really nice, but I kind of feel like it's not really for my age anymore I didn't really it didn't reflect me as a person as I am now I think teenage Anna would have absolutely loved this bikini and I still think it's really gorgeous but I feel like it's just a little bit too young for me if that makes sense so even though it is a beautiful bikini this one will go on to the giveaway pile and uh, next up we have oh that's a really old one actually <laughs> this is a really old bikini that I wore so many times that the fabric already feels really sloppy and, you know, stretched out because I wore it so much. So this one is just a really simple flowery bikini. You will see a bit of a theme here. I have a lot of flowery stuff. I just, I don't know, I just love flowers. Yeah, it's a triangle bikini, super simple, um, super comfortable, specifically for any kind of like sporty stuff. I found this one just fits really nicely and stays put really nicely as well. And the brand is called Promise. And I got this from TK Maxx actually, so yeah, really cute. This is how it looks on, just a super simple triangle bikini. As I said, it's already super old. I think I'm gonna keep it for like one last season and then I think after that season, I might have to say goodbye to it. Okay, so next up we have a bikini that I really love and I already tested it and I had it with me in my recent holiday in South France. So if you haven't seen my South France vlog, this is the bikini I wore there, so if you want to see it on, uh, go over to that vlog that I just posted a few weeks ago. This is like kind of a tanning bikini for me. It's a bit more cheeky, which I actually really love. I love the way it is cut. It has this kind of like V going down on the front, which looks super cool. And then the top is kind of like a triangle bikini as well. In terms of the colors, I do love the blue. I think the blue does look really nice, but I do kind of want to have this one as just a simple black or white bikini maybe as well i don't know i feel like this one is just very loud which is cute but i kind of want to see if i find one that's a bit more simple really love this one definitely gonna keep it and already wore it as well sticking with what i brought to france i did bring this one to france as well which i absolutely love the colors of this one i think the color scheme is just out of this world beautiful again flowers i love my flowers 
but I also love orange. My favorite color has always been blue and then since I would say like three, four years ago, I started to really dig orange. I don't know what it is about orange, but it just, I just really love it. And I think this color palette is super pretty. I think this bikini has a bit of an 80s vibe. Oh, this is from Kapshi, by the way, and the previous bikini was from Kapshi as well. The only thing with this bikini, I have to say, it is a little bit tight around my chest. So I feel like I could have sized up in the top. The bottoms are actually quite fine. Um, I probably could have sized up in them as well. They are, I mean, they are stretchy material, so it should have been fine. So with this one, um, I should have probably sized up to a medium, but most of my bikinis, if not all of them, are in a size 36 or small or eight. But personally, I just really love the style. I just think it looks so cool. I really love the 80s. And then I recently watched Stranger Things that just came out. And I mean, they literally represent the 80s in such a good way and I, I don't know, I saw it and was like, yes, this bikini is like all I need right now. So it is a really nice one if you are looking for a bit of an 80s vibe. Next up we have one, um, where's the top? Yeah, I think it came with this one. Again, another Kapshi one. Kapshi sent me quite a lot of uh, bikinis, that's why I have so many from them. This one is a neon orange bottom, which is a bit more high-waisted and came with a white top, so kind of like a mix and match bikini, which is actually really cool. By the time I picked it, I really liked the idea of it, but when I put it on, I just don't feel it. I just don't feel fully comfortable in it. The top looks really, really nice. It just makes you look really good. So I really love the top. I like the kind of like strap that goes down in the back. The bottoms are a touch too high-waisted for me, I have to be very honest. I'm not the biggest fan of high-waisted bikinis. I do love them occasionally when I have eaten too much lunch or so, and then like feel them more comfortable with a high-waisted bottom, but I, I don't know, there's just something about it that I don't fully love. Long story short, this one will go into the giveaway pile as well. And then moving on, I have a bathing suit, which again has very 80s vibe for me. This one even still has to tag on. Um, again, there's just so many bikinis and bathing suits. I just don't know when to wear them, specifically in the UK where the weather is not that good. Really love this one though. It has those cutouts in the front and the back, which makes the bathing suit really kind of playful. And it has this ring on the front as well, which I like. So again, really digging this kind of orangey 80s vibe. So definitely gonna keep this one. And then moving on, I have another bathing suit which is this kind of blue floral number here. Um, very similar cut, to be honest. I don't know what it is about this one. Again, I feel like it might be a little bit too playful for me, but I just, I don't know, I just really love the color and I love the flowers on it. Again, I love my flowers, so I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. This one is again from Kapshi. So next up, I have two bikinis, which are from H&M, and they are literally the identical cut just from different seasons, but I just really like the cut. I think it looks really flattering. So the first one is this light blue stripey one. Light blue and white stripes, I think it's just always such an easy go-to for your swimwear. And it just feels so comfortable. It's not high-waisted or anything, but it's still quite covering. So there's enough coverage there. The reason I picked this bikini twice, and I'll show you the other one in a second, is because I really love the top. The top just feels so good. And I really like this kind of crisscross at the back as well. And then the second one, which is the identical cut, as I said, is this kind of leopard print one. And if you do like one of these bikinis, I'm not sure if the identical color is still there, but as I said, like I bought this one, I think three or four years ago, and I bought this one last year. So H&M must bring back the same cut. So they probably just have it in a different color this year. With this one, the only thing is you can tell it's already a few years old, like the straps are really stretched out already. So I think similarly with this one here, I think this might be the last season <laughs> for this leopard print one. Was oh, this actually leopard print? It's not leopard print, it's zebra print, I think. It's more of like a zebra um, style, not leopard. So sorry about that. And I think they're also like 20 pounds. So literally all of the bikinis I have are somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds. I'm not the biggest fan of putting a lot of money towards bikinis. To be very honest, my bikinis normally have a lifetime span of three to four years before they fall apart. So I don't really see the point of purchasing a bikini or swimwear that's super expensive. Moving on to the next one, again, another bathing suit, which is this kind of like red, it is, it's not really red, is it? It's kind of like a dark burgundy purple color. And this one I, 
picked for my first Kapshi video uh, because Nick really liked it. He said he really loved this one. I always ask him for his opinion because he's really good with like fashion and stuff like that. He works in the fashion industry so I really value his opinion and he said this one looks really cool and chic and classy and he was right. It does look really cool. It has a super deep v-neck and then you take the straps and you just wrap them around a few times around the waist and then you do like a little bow tie in the front and it does look really nice. It looks like a little outfit. I'm not sure about going for a swim in this, but I can definitely see myself wearing it when, I don't know, I have like a little skirt on top and then going for lunch on the beach or so, something like that. So I really love this one, as I said, it was from Kapshi. And if you want to see any of them on, just go back to my old videos where I tried everything for you. Next up is this polka dot bikini here, which still has the tags in as well. So this one I ordered, and when I ordered it, it looked a bit more beige on the website. It's just very white and black, and on the website it looked a bit more cream and beige, and I really liked the color of it. And now as I have it, I don't really love the color as much as I did when I saw it on the model, and I've never worn it to see tags still on. And it does fit really nicely. I think it does look quite cute when you put it on and the top sit really nicely as well but because I don't love the color as much I might put this one onto the giveaway pile as well next up I have this one here which is very the idea when I bought this is I saw myself putting this on and playing volleyball somewhere I don't know why and this compared to like your normal bikini has a very thick material it it literally feels like it's it could be a stretchy top which I thought could be really nice as well just wear this one and then have like I don't know some high-waisted jeans or something or a skirt with it so I think you could get away wearing this as a top as well if you wanted to and when I got them I was actually really really excited about it but again <laughs> I have so many bikinis to wear and so many things to wear that I have decided that I will put this one into the giveaway as well. Moving on, we have this black bathing suit here. Again, another bathing suit, and I don't even wear that many bathing suits, but it does look cute. I'm always thinking this one would look really nice on a little Instagram with like this black bikini and a straw hat on or something like that. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, I want to have like a photo with it. Um, so I can't really give it away, so I think I have to keep this one as well. It's just a really nice, beautiful bathing suit, quite simple, but again with the cutouts, a bit more playful. This one, by the way, is again from Kapshi, and I feel like they love their cutouts. Like, most of the bathing suits I saw so far, like, has a lot of cutouts. The next one, sticking with black, is just a really simple black bikini. I really, really love the bottoms. The bottoms are, I wouldn't say quite cheeky, but they're like... A bit smaller a little bit more cheeky which I prefer compared to the high-waisted ones and they are super comfortable and really good material again like really thick and comfortable for the top when I ordered this I thought it's gonna be the perfect kind of like chic bikini top with this tortoiseshell little squares here and I think it does look really really nice it's just a touch too small for me I have to be honest I feel like again with this one I wish I would have gotten a medium I feel like with a lot of the Kapshi ones I have the issue that some of them fit in a small and other ones are just too small just the sizing is a little bit off with some of them I have to say but I think I'm gonna keep definitely gonna keep the bottoms the bottoms are really nice and then I don't know I don't think I can give away just the top so I'm gonna keep the top as well for now and just ask a friend to have it if they want it next up I feel like this video is gonna be so long I just have so many bikinis so this one is a flowery one again what else could it be other than flowers and it has this kind of like colorful but not too colorful print and I really like this one. I think this one is gonna be a really easy go-to bikini for me because it sits really nicely. The bottoms again are kind of the cut that I really like so it's not too high and it's not too revealing either. It's just kind of nice in between. I kind of like these cutouts on the side as well and this one fits really nicely. So this one feels super comfortable on the top feels really good as well. I really like the way it sits and it has this kind of crisscross in the back again, which looks really nice too. So yeah, this one is an easy one for me. Definitely gonna keep this. Next up, I have this red and black snake print bikini, which I bought, I think must have been at least five years ago. So this one is also quite an old one and you can tell it's already really flimsy and the material gets like really soft. But this one is this simple triangle bikinis. As you can tell, I do love my just triangle bikinis. I think they're just my go-to that I would always pick over like a, a 
proper cup, like a bra cup. I kind of prefer the triangle ones, I think they suit me a little bit better. So I, with those bottoms, I have to be very honest, I don't love them, even though the cut itself is actually quite nice. But the problem is that the back is just a bit too big for me, and <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say this, but they look a little bit like diapers on me, so not the most flattering, I have to be very honest. <laughs> But it's it's okay, like it's not the worst out there, but there are definitely better cuts out there So I probably should give this one away. I barely ever wear it. I kind of wear it when I know I go for a swim and have to take it off straight away afterwards. It is from a brand called Palmer's P-A-L-M-E-R-S. I bought this one back at home in Austria. Palmer's is quite a big um, underwear and bikini brand also in Germany so if you're ever around they have really nice um, yeah underwear and bikinis. Next up we have surprise surprise another flowery print. This one is one from Popville again and I actually really like this one. I think it looks really cute. It's kind of a bandeau top but it has straps coming with it. Surprisingly what I would have thought with this one is that they make them come off, that they would make them detachable but they didn't which is a bit annoying. I feel like they should have done it because it is a really nice just like bandeau by itself as well. So this one is this kind of like light baby pink which I think looks really cute and the flowers they look a little bit like they are, I see it better on the bottom, they the print looks a little bit like you painted it on with watercolor, so I really like that one. It's very soft and really just pretty and cute, I think. The bottoms, again, are a little bit high-waisted, which is, as I said, not my favorite cut, but definitely can look very good. And I feel like I already have quite a lot of, like, flowery bikinis that I'm going to keep, so... I think this one I haven't worn so far other than for the try-on. I will put this one onto the giveaway pile as well for you. So I hope whoever wins this likes the kind of like lighter pastel -y flower colors because you're gonna get two of them. Then next up we have this one here which I got in my most recent cup she video. Tags are still on. I really like this one. So the color scheme is very pink and it looks very artsy but it fits so so nicely. I think the top specifically just kind of fits really nicely and then with the bottoms I really like these as well they are a little bit high-waisted not too much but a little bit more high-waisted the only thing I don't love is this kind of plasticky pink circle in the middle I think it just looks a bit cheap but I'll look away and pretend like it's not there because the rest of the bikini is actually really nice and as I said really comfortable so I'm gonna keep this one and then we made it to the final to the last one which is this bikini here and this is kind of a burnt orange one that I really like. So this one is quite high-waisted again, but I really like this one. I like the color of it quite a lot and the top specifically fits me really nicely. I feel very comfortable in it. The bottoms, as I said, like every now and then a high waist is alright for me. I just don't wear a high waisted bottom all the time. But this one I really like. I think I'm gonna keep this one because I already wore it as well, so I can't give this one away anymore. This one was also from Cupshe. But yeah, that was everything. Oh my god, there were so many bikinis and bathing suits. I hope you're still with me. I'm sorry for that super long video, but it was definitely necessary to get rid of a few of them. I have to be honest, I could have probably gotten rid of a few more, but because there are like three bikinis in here that I will give away at the end of the season anyway and I mean yes there are still quite a lot I have to be very honest I struggle giving away things okay on to the giveaway part I have put the five bikinis into these bags here but you can win those five ones all of them are in a size small as I said I'm really sorry for anyone who doesn't fit a size small I promise I will do more giveaways in the future but these ones are just my size because I did the videos with Cupshe and Popwell and they kindly sponsored them in the time back then. There will be one winner winning all five bikinis. And what you have to do to enter this giveaway is just to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Instagram. I will put the link down below into the info box for you. And then on this YouTube video, just comment what is your most exciting thing you have planned for summer 2022. So this can be a really cool holiday or you're moving house, anything that comes to your mind that you're doing in 2022 in summer that sounds really exciting and really fun. And please also add your Instagram handle so I can find you on Instagram and then contact you. I will only contact you from my Instagram, so the link that you find down below, anyone else contacting you 
is fake and this giveaway is UK only so please make sure that you have a UK address as well and this is everything you have to do so super simple the giveaway will be open until the end of July so until the 31st of July until midnight and then I will pick a winner the following days and I will contact you on Instagram as I said so I hope that's not too complicated I will put everything down into the info box below so you can read it again but this was everything for today I really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!